welcome back to another video everybody uh, really excited for this video this is going to be a video on my favorite dividend stock as of right now in the stock market um, I picked this stock up probably I want to say three and a half to four months ago and it's been like definitely a little bit of a weird stock because I've never really bought stocks that were you know I guess associated with real estate per se but the thing that attracted me the most to this stock is that it pays dividends monthly and I can assure you that it does because I see the dividends drop into my um, portfolio every month from this stock so the ticker symbol on this stock is going to be O Realty and O Realty is not too expensive but they pay pretty well I mean it pays 4% annual uh, dividend yield and that's pretty good for a stock I mean there's definitely higher dividend yields out there but not that pay monthly so you can actually really you know long term say you three to five years of investing in O Realty you can you know build up a nice portfolio and be getting monthly payments from something that could be paying some of your bills you know so that's how I look at it and um, when you get them monthly dividends it's just not it's not a better feeling than just getting that passive income um, so if you don't know a way to start getting passive income this is like an easy way into it it's just O Realty um, ticker symbol O we're gonna be looking at the chart on O Realty not too exciting but a very healthy chart constantly going up um, other than COVID, don't pay attention to that. Whole market took a dip. But other than that, constantly moving up, um, slow and steady, just like we did before the um, market took a big dip. But the thing that I was looking at was before the market took a big dip, O Realty was actually $82 a share. Right now, where I picked it up, I picked it up around like 63 ish, $63 a share, I believe. Uh, now it's $70 a share. But looking at it was at $82 a share, I feel like O Realty within the next three to five years could be $100 a share. Um, not a financial advisor, just my opinion on the stock. Um, but I really feel like if this thing goes, you know, bonkers and keeps moving up, you know, at a faster faster rate than it is right now, um, we could definitely see a $100 price on this stock. And there's no doubt in my mind that they have the tools to do it because before, you know, COVID and everything, they were on a constant rise you're doing really well um and real estate's doing really well as you know right now so if that real estate bubble does eventually pop then you might be able to look at a good entry um on o realty because i know they're tied into some real estate assets uh obviously but you know if that real estate bubble pops you can get a really nice entry and you know ride the wave all the way back up and another good point to make is o realty is a real estate investment company um, so if you've been paying attention at all to investing and what's going on in the real estate market because that's a huge part of uh, being an investor is following real estate because it's probably one of the number one most passive income um, generating you know tools we have following real estate right now we can see that the real estate market is bonkers like everything's sky high in price um, if you're an investor not a good time to buy if you're just looking for a place to live you know with a really low payment for 50 years then it's a perfect time to buy um, but looking at this bubble this real estate bubble as we call it if if it pops you could see O Realty's value as a company I feel like drop a little bit I could be wrong it might stay the same but this is just my you know my uh my guess on what's gonna happen with the company when the bubble does pop because we know it always does when the bubble pops the company could drop in share price um, because their assets are worth less money, meaning overall the company would be worth less money. So if that would happen, then we would see O drop in share price, and that would be a very good entry point. If you you know waited out or didn't have the funds right now, if you don't have the funds right now, it's okay. You don't have to feel rushed to get into a stock. As I like to say, if you get into the stock and it drops that's okay too because we can now get more shares for a cheaper price and bring your average cost down um, so either way it's a win-win whether you start a position now or start a position later um, of course it's gonna be hard to get your average cost all the way down versus if you start a position at fifty dollars and you bought at seventy and buying more at fifty but um, still you know you can get your average cost way down accumulate a lot more shares at a lower price so it's a win-win either way 
uh, start a position now or start a position later. Um, but just a quick example of why I brought that up, that's just little things to think about when getting into the markets and like looking at, oh, what could happen with the world um, and how it could affect this stock particularly and um, send the share price down and present me an opportunity to make a lot more money than you know I would have investing up here. Um, depending on how much money you have to invest, of course, that would be the case. But when you're thinking about doing that, you always have to keep that mindset that this is the company that I believe in. Um, I really want to hold this company for a while. You have to keep putting these things in your mind when you're holding a stock. Um, I do the same stuff with crypto. Like I see crypto all the time. And I'm like, snap out of it, snap out of it, snap out of it. This is a correction. You know, we're still moving up. I see, you know, XRP jump up to 130. I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's like that's really awesome. It's you know great. This was literally this week. You know, jump back down to 110. I'm like, all right, well, what the hell? Why is it down six percent? But looking at XRP, you got to look at the one week, the one month, you know, the one year, and then you're saying, oh wow, this is like this is still has a higher high than you know what it previously was. So it's just a pullback on its way up. And you'll see that with a lot of stocks too. Um, and you have to keep that mindset that hey, we're just in a minor correction and we're still moving up. We're still in an uptrend. Um, and when you look at it that way, that's how you make more money and maximize your profits. Because those little corrections, they shake people off. People who aren't real investors, they dip and they sell for a loss because they're not really knowledgeable about what they invested in and how much time investments actually take. But if you have the patience, the time is so much more worth it than those you know, fast gains that you want to see. And I'll say it over and over again to all my friends who try to invest, um, everybody who talks to me about it, it's not going to happen overnight. When getting into the market is you have to keep these words in your head because this will help you through everything. And you have to say to yourself that long-term consistency is always going to beat short-term insanity. Meaning that long-term investment will pay off more than that guy who's trying to make a quick buck every minute. Um, you have to be patient and watch your money grow over time. It doesn't happen overnight. We have to always realize that. Um, because dividend stocks that I give like these, they don't move fast. They're not, you know, your short squeeze up and down $10 a minute type stock. Um, these will move pennies per day, but dollars over years, you know? So on the way you're collecting dividends and um it's you know a win-win because you're going to collect the dividends and then you collect the gains on the way up top so dividend stocks are really good to get started in we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, o realty on the charts and i'm going to show you guys firsthand on what it's been doing the past five years so let's go ahead and do that right now as we can see 2016 the share price was at 68 dollars and five cents okay and Comparing to the share price right now at $70.93, you're like, wow, this thing didn't move much. But we go through a series of corrections within O Realty. And remember, everybody is holding this for the dividends. Most people who have a lot of money in the stock are just collecting their payments every single month. Um, so it took a dip in October of 2016. And the price was 54.39. So you can see how these corrections are crucial sometimes. I mean, it went from $68 to 54.39, and stayed and consolidated pretty like in the $50 range for a while until 2018 when it took another dip to $50.20. And once it bounced off of $48.90, we continue to be in a very bullish uptrend. Um, little corrections along the way, but like I said before, as you can see right where my cursor is, you know, these are higher highs, or higher lows, excuse me, higher lows than previous. Bounced off of, uh, let's see, off that correction, bounced off to $55.85, and then shot really fast up into the 60s. Um, keeps going up. And really kept going up, and then this thing peaked at eighty-two dollars and forty-four cents right before COVID. Um, what it dipped at during COVID was forty-three dollars and sixty cents. So 
that's okay. That's just a really good price to uh, look at this stock. I wish I would have got it in the O Realty during COVID, but oh well. This still isn't very uh, as strong as an uptrend as we saw before. So I would say you know we're more consistent now heading towards this eighty dollar range, which I'd love to see. Um, over the next five years, where do I see O Realty being? Like I said, in the hundred dollar range, I could definitely see that. Um, just today, like it's up three dollars and ninety six cents, which is pretty cool. But we still float around that seventy dollar range because over the week, you know, we'll have corrections back and forth, back and forth. Um, honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing this thing tank down to the sixties so I can pick up more shares. Um, because I really like this dividend stock. It's definitely my favorite. Um, one more thing I want to add before closing out the video is O Realty pays twenty five cents per share as of right now, so. If you pick up one share of O Realty for seventy dollars ninety three cents, they will pay you twenty five cents a month, passive. That's not, you know, anything huge, but it's twenty five cents for doing nothing. It's letting your money sit, and being an investor, you know that's not really a big deal to do because all of our money sits and works and moves twenty four seven. It doesn't just sit in our bank account. So that's you know if you already are developed in that investing mindset that's not a big deal but if you're just getting into the stock market I would recommend checking out my first couple videos on how to invest in the stock market before you start seeing these more advanced videos on stocks that we're looking at um, and you know that 25 cents can really build up you know every four shares you're making a dollar so keep that in mind that you know every I think it would be what 300 and if it was 70 dollars it'd be like every 350 360 dollars you're making a dollar so that's not a lot but say over time you know five to ten years and you have your ten fifteen thousand dollars into the stock a lot of money right you would be making you know well over a you know, hundred a month off this stock which would it doesn't seem like a lot also but on your way up of holding this over time that hundred dollars a month adds up and adds up and adds up to your position. There is an option too on Robinhood to reinvest your dividends into that particular stock, and that's exactly what I do. I take my dividends and I don't even see them; they go right back into the stock and build up and build up and build up in my position because I just like doing it that way. Um, it builds a bigger position, and I just make sure I don't touch the money because I'm just big on saving the money. I know I take profits definitely when they're needed to be taken. But when it comes to dividends, it's a completely different ball game versus you know buying five to five hundred to a thousand shares of a penny stock. Um, dividends you have to make a lot of you have to you know have a lot of money in the market to be making a lot off dividends. And for average people like you know me and you, we start our positions small and we build them up to those you know big dogs over time. It just takes a really strong mindset and consistency to do that. But once you're there, it's like, oh wow, like all this, you know, this work I put in paid off because now I'm collecting, you know, over a thousand dollars a month in dividends. It's possible, definitely, it's possible, and that's more than people make, you know, on a part-time job at some places. So we could do that in the stock market. You know, be grateful for it and use the tools we have. But other than that, if you tuned into the video, thank you so much, and uh, thank you for supporting the channel. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Turn on the notifications. I have some really good videos coming on the way. Um, and I'll see y'all next video.